Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 2016 Transmart Foundation Annual Meeting. Uh, we're hosted here at UCSD in a wonderful facility. Uh, we're delighted to, to be here um, and hope you all enjoy uh, the three days that we've got planned for you. <clears throat> uh, on behalf of the Transmart Management Team, uh, our Board of Directors, uh, and our members, uh, we'd like to, to welcome you uh, and hope that you have a great time. Uh, certainly, if you need anything, please let us know, uh, and we'll try to make everyone as comfortable as we can uh, and uh, keep with the program and, and keep it moving. Uh, I'd first like to, to thank um, our local host, uh, Jeff Greta from the UCSD, um, for his support and uh, help as we did this. Uh, Jeff, would you like to say a few words? <clears throat> So I think uh, most of the thanks should go to the actual organizing committee who was involved in, uh, in, in setting up the meeting. But I'd like to welcome everyone to, uh, to UC San Diego. It uh, looks like you actually are getting a little bit of uh, better weather, weather after the 100 degree heat wave we had last week and the rain yesterday. Um, but uh, you know, I've been involved in the Transmart community for a number of years, mainly as a user uh, of the tools, both in academic projects and uh, with a nonprofit. Uh, that I work with and so you know it's been really uh, good to see sort of the the growth of the community over the years and I think you know one of the th one of the items that's lost with um, you know some of these projects is that you know Transmart is actually a nice uh, sort of experiment model in terms of how do you know work towards sustainability if any you know any of the any of you out there who, who work with uh, you know NIH funding. You know NIH always wants to you know wants you to tell them how you're going to sustain your software or you know your uh, you know what you're developing past you know the end of you know your two grant cycles. Um, and so you know I've I've always looked sort of you know you know at Transmark trying to you know figure out you know how you guys you know are, are sort of figuring out how to sustain you know software the longer term uh, for the community. Um, you know which is you know not always an easy task. So uh, again. Uh, uh, keep it short and welcome everyone to uh, UCSD and uh, hope uh, you have a great meeting. Thanks, Jeff. I'd also like to, uh, to call out uh, Julie Bryant also who was on our organizing committee uh, from Rancho Bioscience. Uh, they've been uh, great helping us get uh, the meeting organized and so many of the local uh, questions and, and where to go and what to do here. So uh, Julie, thank you. Would you like to say a, a greeting? So just want to say welcome to sunny San Diego. Uh, I think you'll all realize why Rancho Biosciences headquarters are here after a couple of days. So it's a beautiful place. I hope you get to go out and do a bit of exploring. Um, we've got a lot of really good presentations over the next three days. We've got the workshops. So if anybody hasn't signed up for workshops, um, please do. And so we'll have a good interactive meeting. So thanks everybody for flying in and coming. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. We also have a few of the other members of the organizing committee who are here. Uh, Ramon from um, NKI. Uh, who else is here? Stand up, uh, Ward from um, The Hive. And see who else is here. Keith Elliston, yes. So you'll hear more from Keith in a few minutes. So, But uh, again, thanks so much to the organizing committee who really uh, helped put the program together and, and make uh, hopefully make this a good experience for everyone. <clears throat> and uh, special thanks also to the UCSD uh, local uh, facility uh, folks. Uh, Sarah Turner's done an absolutely fabulous job helping us with all the meals set up and all that, and uh, it's, it's just been uh, quite quite great. And uh, also the AV group, um, as you may or may know, we're, we're transmitting this live uh, on their YouTube channel and also recording it um, so that we can see it again later uh, if you want to and share it with your colleagues. Uh, so uh, the new, it's a, kind of an experiment for us, but it's a thanks to this wonderful facility here at uh, UCSD. I also want to thank our sponsors uh, who helped make this possible, along with our members um, who uh, have been with us. The, the corporate sponsors have been with us all year. Um, Rancho Biosciences, uh, Gene DX, and EPAM uh, have been uh, supporting us for all of our events throughout the year. Uh, and then for this, uh, for our annual meeting in particular, uh, great thanks to uh, Thomson Reuters, uh, The Hive, and Elevata, uh, and Kyogen. Uh, again, you know, it's through the, the contributions you know, of, of these folks who help us be able to put these kinds of meetings on, but um, also obviously from the, the, the contributions others have made uh, in terms of working with us. 
So um, during this meeting, uh, we've got a lot of things planned, uh, including you know seeing some highlights of uh, this facility. At our first talk, uh, Professor Larry Smar, who's the director of the institute here, um, will uh, show us hopefully some of the cool things that, that they've been doing here. Uh, we'll learn about uh, some of the uses of Transmar. We've really tried to focus on really uh, use, use of the system and different things you can do with the platform um, throughout. Uh, and also, you know, we have a number of sessions that are focused on, you know, data harmonization and optimization and, you know, like that, things like that. So uh, hopefully this will be a useful uh, set of uh, presentations for everyone. We've organized it again into three days. Um, we have um, in these three days um, uh, keynotes, uh, as you see, we'll talk about it in a minute, but also, you know, two sessions that'll keep, that'll be going, uh, one in this room, one in the room next door in the theater. And then there are four workshops uh, that are set up upstairs in room 5302 um, concurrently with the sessions. So uh, we, we, that was unavoidable. Uh, again, the workshops will also be recorded on GoToMeeting, so we'll make these available also uh, later. Uh, and the workshops are on basic training, which is the, thanks to Rancho Bioscience, uh, a workshop on data curation and loading uh, and data science in Python and R by The Hive, uh, and an open bell session that um, Keith Elliston and some of the, the local a number of people who have been working on Open Bell uh, will be talking with us. Um, we also uh, are planning on a um, reception this evening, but just before that we'll have a group photo outside. So at the end of the last session we'll all gather out in the front for a photo. Uh, and then um, we'll have tomorrow night a dinner. This is over at the faculty club. Uh, it's what they tell me it's a nice 10 minute walk over to the faculty club. Uh, and so that'll be uh, available for us. And then we're going to end with um, really a discussion on the roadmap of the, you know, kind of the, the foundation and sort of translational medicine. We're hoping that we can engage in a, a good discussion on kind of where do you got, where do you all see things going, you know, both, you know, scientifically and technically. You know, we spend an awful lot of time talking about the technology and we, we've put a lot of effort into it, but, um, you know, thinking about where the science is going and what sorts of things that we need to be doing as the, the Transmart Foundation, you know, with our focus on translational precision medicine what should we be, you know, looking towards. And so uh, hopefully that'll be a good uh, discussion as we get to that. We have um, six keynote speakers who will be talking on a, a number of topics, uh, starting with uh, Professor Smar uh, later this morning um, as we go through. And uh, you can see, you know, a number of interesting um, topics here. Uh, Professor Bloomberg was not able to make it, unfortunately, but we're going to, through the magic of our AV team here and uh, the internet, uh, he's going to give the presentation uh, over the, the um, network, and so hopefully that'll work out for us. Uh, so we'll get to hear him directly. Um, and uh, a number of other talks, uh, I think that uh, hopefully, you know, covering some of the issues in data, data provenance, um, and then, um, you know, different aspects of, um, you know, patient data. So it should be an interesting set of keynotes, we hope, and uh, we, we, these are designed to try to spark, you know, some discussions about kind of where things are going uh, in the future. Um, as I say, the organization is of the, the, the days are such that we've got all the keynotes. We'll we all be gathered here together in the auditorium. Um, track A will be in this room, and uh, you can see these cover scientific applications. Uh, we'll talk about the, the next upcoming 16.2 release, um, a session on uh, data standards, um, and then uh, a session on future technologies. And then track B is right next door in the theater, where we'll be talking about open data, integrating clinical data and some I2B2 um, uh, integrations. Uh, talk about our, our centers of excellence and talk about some new projects that people are doing. Uh, and then a whole session dedicated to Open Bell, and that'll be in the theater next door. And then we'll end, as I said, with a future directions where we'll all come back here together and uh, talk about this. So I hope this is um, you know, it's going to be an interesting set of talks you know, for all of us to, to sit and listen through and hopefully participate with us. Um, Again, um, just some of the logistics of being here. Uh, they have a, a wonderful uh, Wi-Fi setup, so anybody, everybody should be able to get on this. You don't need a password. Uh, it's UCSD Guest is what you log into, uh, and it, it works fabulously from what my experience has been, so everybody should be able to get on and use this. And you can use it anywhere in the building here, you know, up in the, the different rooms, uh, which should be great. Uh, registration, posters, uh, and all the different meals will be served outside here. Hopefully it's going to stay nice. Julie, you've promised me, son, so uh, you'll be able to sit outside and have your, uh, your dinners uh, and then meetings, um, uh, lunches and things. 
Uh, the group photo will be at the end of today uh, and uh, a reception this evening outside. And then tomorrow, as I said, at the uh, faculty club, uh, we'll have maps available uh, for you to, to look at that. <clears throat> so um, again, I said that there's, uh, there, there's live streaming. If you have colleagues who'd like to watch it live, you could, uh, they, if they just go to our website, we've got all the links for the live streaming. Uh, there'll be a separate live stream for this room and for the, uh, the, the theater. Uh, they could log in, you know, just get in right now. There's no password or anything needed. Just go in and use it. Uh, the workshops are being recorded uh, as well. Um, and um, hopefully everybody will get a conference brochure. And we do have a conference giveaway. It's on campus, but it hasn't made it here yet. So uh, hopefully we'll have that in, a, in an hour or two. Um, one quick note about sessions. We're again trying something a little bit different this time. We have a session chair for each session. We're asking the chair to kind of introduce the session and you know, just you know kind of set the framework for the, the topic. Um, we have the, the speakers who will be just, you know giving their presentations and then we're going to gather all the speakers. We left time at the end so that all the speakers can come up and do like a panel and have a panel discussion so have a little bit more interaction. So uh, again, it's something that we're trying this year that we haven't really done before. So um, see how we can do. So this is our, our day today. Uh, we've got the full agenda, and I won't go through that. It's kind of hard to read. Um, but um, you know, that's, um, you know, our, our hope is that we'll be able to uh, get through all this, and uh, it'll, be, um, it'll be something that'll be uh, very, very interesting and, and exciting for everyone. We'll, um, we're going to get started now. Uh, I'm going to call up uh, Keith Elliston, uh, the CEO of the Transmart Foundation, uh, to give us uh, an update. Uh, on the foundation, uh, kind of what's gone on in the last year, and kind of lay the, the groundwork for kind of where we're going. Uh, Keith? <laughs> 